Hello, I'm back and I'm still at my sewing machine because I decided I'm going to decorate some tags, these shipping tags. Um, I already have some that I've covered in lace, but these would be good for if you're just clipping them to the side of your page or putting them in maybe a corner. Let me see if I can find one here. One of those triangle pockets in the corner, like this, because of the stuff hanging off them. But I want some tags that will go in a sack like this. So I had this one that I thought would work, but just because of that little bit of overhang, it will crease the lace up, sliding it in to the bag. So I love this tag. I'm not going to use it because of that. So I need to make some tags that don't have anything hanging off the bottom, don't have any loose pieces that are going to get caught going into the bag or a large pocket. So <coughs> I have some tags here. This one's copy dyed. Um, and I have bits and pieces here. I have my really pretty shabby chic pink fabric from um, Ooh La La Crafts and I also have this it says vintage from her and this one so any of these I can use and I've got bits of um, fabrics and ribbons over on this side of me so I don't have to reach in front of the camera so though I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do something with these pieces So this up here. Of course, after you decorate the front, you can write on the backs in between the stitching. Put that there. Just have a little snippet of this right there. Make sure I sew it down so it doesn't get caught going into the pockets. This might be pretty on one of them. <clears throat> Got a piece of silk. Capita. You guys always comment on how quickly I put things like this together. I don't like spending too much time doing this. I just like to get it down, get it done. don't like that. everything and make sure it's all sewn down. I quick glue everything. I'm going to sew these background pieces on first. My 
might make it easier. Hmm, I shouldn't have started at the top. If I had ended up down in the middle, then I could have continued on with that piece, but I wasn't thinking ahead. else did I have here? I had this, I had this, and that, and that. have to sew this little flappy piece of fabric down. Now I think this tag should be good in going into a pocket. You can back it with a fat, uh, paper that you can journal on if you don't want the lines showing, but of course even backing it with paper you'd have the texture of the lines to deal with while you're writing. So for me, I like to be able to see the lines so you can write in between them. Instead of reading between the lines, we'll be writing between the lines. Yeah, I'm funny. cover that one up. I don't, this is the only layaway tag I have. I have a lot of inventory tags.
It's a piece of that vintage sheet that I was using for the... Oh no, this is fabric. It's fabric. I'm just looking around, seeing what's on my table, grabbing stuff, seeing what works. Granted, there is a lot of stuff on my table, so I still have a lot to choose from. It's a little spot on that lace where a pin was stuck in it and became rusty, which I don't mind. It's part of being vintage. All right, I'm going to sew these pieces down and then kind of trim off excess and then see what else it needs because it definitely needs something. these little flowers that I got in a happy mail yesterday too. I think I'm going to try to put a little piece of paper on there. bunch of vintage book pages here. Sometimes I like the looks of the um, math pages because it just kind of looks like a pattern instead of a text that you have to read. I want my piece, so I'll just tear it down till I have it right. I think that's good, just like that. ink around this and I'll be right back.
<laughs> Speaking of math, I saw a little joke thing on Facebook and I shared it because it made me laugh. It was, um, there's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. Only a fraction of the people will get this. <laughs> so, are you a fraction of the people that get it? I said on Facebook that I had to share it even though I don't usually share math jokes because I'm more of a grammar person. <laughs> but that one just made me smile. So anything that makes me smile, I like to share. Okay, so I had this, the edge of this fabric was lined up exactly with the edge of that paper and I did not like that. So I moved it off a little bit and that looks better. And now I'm going to sew. out shopping with my friend in Lewisburg there was a decorative wooden sign that you could buy and hang up in your home and I don't remember what the word was I wish I could remember but there was a word on there that had an apostrophe s the word should have had an s but that word never ever has an apostrophe And it was a decorative sign being sold to hang up in your house. There is no reason for an apostrophe to be there. I really wish I could remember the word. I think it was, I don't know, maybe it was something like gets. You never apostrophize gets. Apostrophize. That's probably not even a word. <laughs> now you can laugh at me. You never use an apostrophe in the word gets. I made up a new word. sure everything's tacked down good. I just want to make sure this little piece isn't going to get caught so I'll do that. that's good. I don't know if I'm going to punch a hole in there or just staple some ribbon to it or something, but that looks nice, doesn't it? We have two. I'm going to sew that down. with this piece. It says 
vintage on it and it has some script. She stamped on this fabric. Does vintage fit across? It does. Threads everywhere. Looking for some slightly larger pieces of fabric. Should be able to find something in all of that, right? I love this trim. I think I got that at Hobby Lobby and I don't know if they have it anymore. Is that good enough? Do I need more math? This math book has some really cute pictures. Maybe I need an illustration from the math book. Oh, she's playing her violin. Why is a violin picture in the math book? Because Celia pays $1.25 for a music lesson. Last year she had 39 lessons. How much did the lessons cost? This one's taking me a little longer. Some of them just go together really quick and some make me think a little bit. Think and try and think and try. That pink really helps.
take all this off to sew the background on while I remember where everything was? Probably not. But we'll make it work. make a lot of ephemera for these books because like I said the, um, the kit cottage garden kit from Porchling Designs has a lot of pockets and cards and things but I did make the fabric pockets the little padded fabric pockets so I wanted to make some tags too I don't know if that will catch, but just in case, I'm going to just sew it down. Well, I'm not done with it. Sewing on these other pieces would have caught it. Oh well. smaller. Was this all I had? Were these on it? I don't think so. I think that's good enough. I'm going to have to sew, sew these little balls down. Just to make sure they don't get caught going into the pocket.
to make sure the very edge of this pink is sewn down. Okay. That's three. I need to do one more. We're already at half an hour. But I'm going to go for it. My sister loved this lace too and I didn't use it in her journal so maybe I'll use it on a tag for her. What do I use to go with it? A piece of chenille might be lovely on one of these, but I don't want to create too much bulk, and plus I don't have the chenille in this room. something behind that. I'm going to sew that together right now. That'll make just make it easier to keep it placed properly. Vintage stamped fabric was kind of folding over while I when I was trying to turn it. So I'll just do it this way. All right. Let's see what else we need here. little flowers. I don't want to go overboard with this. Does it need something up there? Um, I don't want to use pink. I need 
need something that contrasts a little bit. How about some cheesecloth? How would that look? Or some brown fabric. Yeah, I think I'll just use that. Where I would like to have these pieces of the lace hanging over, of course I am not going to do that because that is what is causing the problem with the other tags. I have one fabric behind and one over it. made it a little shorter. He's hanging over. Well, that kind of slipped. So that's going to go over it too. I don't want it to. I'll just trim it off the top. I guess, you know, sometimes it's better to glue things in place before you sew, which I've seen a lot of people do. I'm usually just too impatient for that. Trim. This is better. along the very, very edge here. There. Three tags done. I just have to add seam binding or something into them or staple a ribbon or something to the top. So there's that one. Did I say three? Four tags. I don't remember what I said. There's that one. And that one. And that one. Okay, what time is it? Um, 40 minutes here. That's not too bad. 10 minutes a tag. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing next, but I'll probably bring you along. Might as well. You've come this far with me. See you soon. Bye.